Hi YouTube, this is um, just a quick video for anybody who's a little bit confused as I was a few months ago about um, the quality of music that you rip from CDs onto your hard drive. Um, so I'm using Windows Media Player and I'm here in the, in the player. Um, so you have these tracks here. Um, again, apologies for the camera work. I'm doing this kind of blind because I'm doing it on the same computer with a, a webcam. Um, so I don't know if you can actually see what I'm showing you. But what you do is, uh, if you just go to here and right click, if you go to the file marked properties, click there, it'll tell you something called the bit rate. Now the bit rate relates to the actual quality of your audio or how much it's been compressed to fit onto this file. Now this one here is 256 kbps. Now as um, a comparison, um, iTunes usually uh, works at about 160 kbps. But obviously they have their own programmed encoders, that's why it sounds a little bit better than it is um, in, in actuality, if you know what I mean, because it's encoded quite well. Um, so then we've got 256. Now a standard CD that's uncompressed. I've got one here that I've downloaded that's uncompressed, um, which is uh, Adrenalize, the deluxe edition. Just click on properties there. I don't know if you can see, but it's 1.41 Mbps or megabits per per second, if you know what I mean. Um, so that one's completely uncompressed, and that's your standard um, kind of bit rate for a CD. Uh, now there is an option if I'll show you when you go to rip a CD if you just go to this bar here you might not have this enabled but you just right click it and you can enable it if you press tools at the top and go to options just there now it ha comes up with this menu and if you go to rip music which means basically take it from your CD onto your hard drive there's options to select how well, what kind of quality you actually want to um, rip it at. Now I didn't know anything about this when I first started putting music onto um, my computer and it was actually set at the lowest setting which is 128 kbps and I was noticing that the songs I kind of um, grew up with I knew from CD just sounded terrible, absolutely shite on uh, even through good quality um, headphones or like average quality headphones which I've got which cost about um, 35 pounds something like that these JVCs now you can actually choose available bitrate um, you can choose media audio pro or you can choose the lossless options now there's um, WAV file lossless which is completely lossless it's literally the entire CD just put on with no compression but Windows also have this option which is Windows media audio lossless now that encodes at 470 to 940 kbps it says mathematically lossless, and I don't really notice um, a great deal of difference between that and completely uh, lossless transfers onto uh, your hard drive. Um, now, the um, standard lossless, as I said, was about 100 and what? 104, 1 1.41. Um, one that's been that's used this is, if we just find one that's, that's used this, um, yeah, see, there's a Nuendo, and that's 945 kbps, as opposed to the highest quality download that you can get off places like uh, Amazon, um, which is 320. And this tends to kind of the standard good quality uh, MP3s are around uh, 255, 256 to 320, but they do go much below that. Um, obviously, it depends on how it's encoded and how it's actually. Um, the actual uh, setup is, is is structured and they have got a lot better in recent years but for me you can definitely still hear the difference I'm not going to play it for you now because you won't be able to, to tell any difference um, simply because um, A I'm playing it through YouTube with the audio clips anyway and this laptop has really poor speakers um, I just attempted to do a, a Metallica vi video um, using the headphones and it doesn't really come out at all on the actual webcam um, the sound quality just sounds terrible um, but suffice to, suffice to say that um, you can actually select, it's a bit like you know the um, hard drives of um, that, that record your TV, you can actually select a level of quality it's something similar to that basically the more kind of kbps um, kilobytes per second that you actually have on a track 
theoretically the, the better quality actually comes out at. There are some 320 and even 255 kbps tracks that sound really good um, but I prefer to use this Windows lossless system which I think is more or less their version of FLAC. Now FLAC, uh, a lot of people talk about, is a thing called um, free lossless um, audio something anyway basically it's it's a system that that's used a lot by the industry it compresses cds to around i think 60 percent of uh, codec that's it free loss audio codec something like that and it's used a lot by the industry and things like jukeboxes and also radio stations i think use a lot of it and it it, it compresses cds by about 60 percent and still maintains the same quality i don't have flax so i don't know if it's the same thing but i think this windows media player this windows lossless system is a similar kind of thing I think it's around the same kind of um, ballpark in terms of how it compresses your music. Um, again, if you want to just store all your music, you're not particularly bothered about if it's top the same quality as CD, then just obviously do it at whatever bit rate that you, you, you think is, is appropriate. Um, but that's just how you can vary your bit rate. Just go to Tools, go to Options, and just press go to rip music and then you can select what you want to actually record it on so just something that i've noticed when i put a lot of music on the computer it was doing it at 128 which is the lowest setting and it just sounded terrible um but um it's kind of uh a slightly confusing and um a bit bewildering kind of thing at first because you just all these terms and you don't really quite understand what they mean but i think the the most important thing to consider is the fact is it's just or how much you value your, your kind of CDs or your original albums. What I tend to do is is I'll um, upload the albums I really like onto here, um, either um, losslessly or using this Windows Audio Lossless that does this compression. Uh, so apologies if the video is a bit, little bit ram rambling, but I just thought I'd put it out there just in case anyone's a bit confused about how to actually alter the quality of your rips from CD onto your hard drive. Okay, and I'm just going to end on shot into infinity, and I'll see you later.